Okay, here we have a question where we're allocating service department costs. And so we have a lot of information. We're going to have to do a little bit of math to get our correct answer. Here's the question. The photocopying department provides photocopy services for both departments A and B and has prepared its total budget using the following information for next year. Fixed costs, $100,000. Available capacity, 4 million pages. Department A is going to use 1.2 million pages. Department B is going to use 2.4 million pages. We add that up, and that's 3,600,000 pages. So that's less than the capacity. There's no issue with that. And then we have a variable cost of point or 3 cents per page. They tell us to assume that the dual rate cost allocation method is used, and the allocation basis is budgeted usage for fixed costs and actual usage for variable costs. They tell us the math that we need to do. How much cost would be allocated to Department A during the year if actual usage for Department A is 1,400,000 pages and actual usage for Department B is 2,100,000 pages. So Department A used more than they thought, Department B used less than they thought. Well, we actually have two allocations to do here. We need to do the fixed costs and we need to do the variable costs. Now, the fixed costs, budgeted usage. Well, we just did the math. Total usage would be 3,600,000. Department A was 1,200,000 of that. And so we know, we don't have to do the math, we know that that is one third, 33.33%. We multiply that by the $100,000 of fixed costs and that gives us $33,333 of the fixed costs are going to be allocated to Department A. And we know that the other $66,667 are going to be allocated to Department B. Now, they also tell us then that variable costs are, out, are allocated based on actual usage. So, Department A actually used 1,400,000 pages. We multiply that by three cents per page and that gives us $42,000 being allocated as part of the variable costs. And we add those two together, and what we're going to get is 75,333. Now, we haven't looked at our choices yet. You have, but we don't have it here on the screen. And so when we add that or go forward to that, we see that 75,333 is choice C. And so all we're doing here is this dual allocation. We're doing fixed costs based on budgeted usage and the variable cost based on actual usage, a very common way for this to be done. And it's just a matter of making certain that we go through, allocate the fixed costs, allocate the variable costs, add them together, and that's going to give us the answer. It's not difficult. We just need to be certain that we do the math accurately, read the information, get the directions out of the question, and then we do the math and we get our correct answer for this question.